Today I'm going to show you how to rebuild a smog or air pump. And we're going to start by pressing the uh, cylinder into the housing. And we're going to use a block of wood to push the cylinder in the, to the bearing, the front bearing, as far as it'll go. I've got it set up on a press and we're going to press it down and uh, until it seats. Next we're going to start by pressing the uh, fan pulley hub on and I've uh, heated to 400 degrees and it just about dropped on. We're pressing it the rest of the way till it seats down onto the bearing and once that happens uh, we'll, we're done with the front end. Next you want to install the fan and pulley. Push the fan down all the way. Um, it'll seat on there. If yours has a spacer, install it now and uh, get it lined up with the mounting holes. And then just uh, press the pulley on and then insert the bolts and lightly tighten them down for now. You may have to take it off to install it on your vehicle. So just um, snug them down. And breathe. Sometimes the air seems thinner, but I breathe. Now we're going to install the makes me a carbon's uh, air veins and the graphite ceiling blocks. And first of all, we're going to put in the uh, end blocks, which are semi curved, this and they're. If there's any wear, turn the wear part down to fit the, in the bottom. Push them all the way to in the slots down to the bottom. One on each side. So they try to keep me down. Control is what they're aiming at. Now we're going to install the. Um, the veins and they're both the same but they're inverted so they make a match set. Doesn't make any difference which one you insert first just so long as that's down and then put the other one in the other side all the way through. Okay now we're going to install the graphite um, wear blocks or strips and if you look on the side, they're tapered on one edge. Put this taper in so that uh, the long edge is towards the outer the cylinder and the short edge of the taper is towards the inside. There's one on each side of the uh, wear part, or air veins. Insert all four of them first. Making sure that the uh, wear block is the right way. Next, we're going to start to insert the uh, spring clips that hold one side of the wear block in place. And if you notice it's curved, the curved side goes towards the wear block. And the other side goes towards the outside of the uh, slots. Push them down all the way and put the other side in. On the longer side of the uh, um, slot so they go in on the longer side. Now install the uh, end wear block and if there's any wear on it um, turn it over so that it's uh, facing the right way. 
Okay, if you need new strips, you can order these uh, on eBay as a rebuild kit, air pump rebuild kit. And uh, in case yours are broken or damaged. Okay, now we're going to uh, insert the end cap. And it'd be better off if you press this down, then hammer it down in place, and make sure when you press it in place, it's flush with the edge of the outer cylinder. And once that is flush with the edge, you can install the back plate. And you'll have to rotate this around a little bit to get the uh, locating pins to line up. And once you get them to line up, it'll fit right down. Now install the uh, back bolts. and tighten them down. And once you get them all in place and tighten down, you're all done and it's ready to go back into the car. Thanks for watching.